Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm Kadarev. I'm not. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, so that's Tokaloni 1. Indeed. And we will play Captain Toad, N% Co-op. And since there is quite a bit of downtime throughout the run, we will just start. Um, we start from a fresh file, of course, and timer starts as soon as the first, or d right now the only Toad starts moving. So I'll give you a countdown. So that's uh, three, two, one, go. <laughs> so as you can see, Toka's already very hard into. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is uh, just the very first prologue. You can see kind of the objective of what we're going to do. So to finish a level, of course, you have to collect a star. And here you get uh, your first bit of lore, I guess. Uh, so this is kind of the introduction to the story. Um, so Toadette is going to, uh, yeah disappear I guess. So there are three books to this game, or like three story arcs. The first two have 18 chapters each, the third one will have 28, but we will not play all of them. Because other than stars there are also gems you need to collect, um, and there are certain gem thresholds you need to hit to unlock further parts of the story. So we will not only try to finish the levels as quickly as possible, but we also want to collect a certain amount of gems. In the end, we should have 155 to unlock the final two levels. Uh, yeah, and then of course, I also want to uh, enable second player, because that's what this is all about. Uh, yeah, also we have free time loss here, because I have the DLC. There we go. And I guess we can uh, start then. Oh, is it time for me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the very first level. Um, each level has three gems. We will collect, of the levels we will play, we will collect all the gems in each one of them, except for one, where we will only collect two. Um, you can also see this bubble thing that just happens. So each player can go into a bubble mode, which will transport them to the other player, which we, of course, can uh, abuse a bit to cut down on backtracking. And yeah, so that was the basic gist of it. We collected three gems and the star at the very end. So that was level one. And in level two, it's already a bit more uh, chaotic, I guess. So we will split up pretty early on. We also get some prompt every now and then, which I forget every time. That's good. So generally, I will be the uh, uh, player one, and I will also be the one to control the camera for most of the time. So reason for that is uh, that's how we learned it. And I also play this game a bit uh, solo. While Tok actually, this is basically only his second time he. Nice. <laughs> uh, this is the second time he has an extended playing period of this game, which is really cool that he actually uh, wanted to do this cope with me. Why did it destroy the bridge there? <laughs> yeah, so you can see there are some uh, extra objectives for each level. This one was to not destroy the bridge, but we actually want to destroy it because each time you get one of these extra objectives, uh, there is like a two second animation which like gets a checkbox and whatnot, so we want to actually avoid those. Oops, sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so there you saw the uh, interact mechanism. So we have each one of us has a cursor, and you can uh, interact with certain objects or enemies. So if you interact with enemies, they're usually stunned. You cannot stun all of the enemies, but blocks like these, you can uh, move around like this on a preset uh, pattern. All right. Here we actually switch controllers because of reasons. For this one, it's not too important, but it will be for the next one. I mean, actually, not even that important anymore. <laughs> But whatever. Uh, here you can see me or both of us pick up turnips. So turnips are one of the few weapons we can use. It's worth mentioning that uh, Toad cannot jump by himself. Why is that? <laughs> so uh, apparently the uh, backpack is actually too heavy. Oh, for, uh, okay. and so Toad cannot jump. You have a very weak attack, which you can do by uh, spinning in a circle a few times, which also usually... Uh, means you will get hit as well, but you know, it's a desperation attack basically. 
And in this level, in single player, you're actually supposed to pick up the uh, cherry to the left uh, of me. So yeah, now I'm going to duplicate yourself. Exactly. So this will duplicate one toad. But since we're already two toads, uh, we can kind of skip that. So uh, if you would duplicate the toad, then the player who has to duplicate will just like control both toads at the same time, and they will do the same movement. So it's a bit uh, needs some coordination. But like this, we can uh, pretty much do this freestyle. That's the third gem. There we go. And flip. So basically, Toka um, is very much used to my camera movements. So basically, whenever I screw up, that's like. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably spell disaster because, uh, yeah. And that's that. Now we switch okay. back. Yeah, and <laughs> probably will not switch again for the end of the run. Yeah. Or until the end of the run. There's another strat you can do in this level. Um, it abuses a, I mean, this is a glitch again, kind of a glitch, um, where you, because you you're playing co-op, you have two toads uh, or possibly three if you use the cherry. You can airwalk, so essentially one, um, like airwalk for one tile. So one toad can push the other over a one tile gap, um, and they can use it to go out of bounds. It only saves seven seconds, something like that. Um, it's pretty difficult, so. Yeah, doing it a marathon is not really a desired thing to do. Yeah, we would have to get it first try for it to save any time. And yeah. Otherwise it loses, what is it, 15 seconds or so? Yeah, quite a like bit. Like for every attempt you don't get it, you lose 15 seconds. So this is actually a level we would usually skip in a single player uh, speedrun. Because as you can see, uh, Toka is stuck in this animation of the pickaxe, which also has some pretty nice music. And... Okay, yeah, so this we would skip in single player. Uh, because we can split up and one toad can go ahead, uh, we can actually do this level in uh, co-op and skip one of the later levels instead. Uh, here you will see that there is a, a replay or restart level mechanic which we can abuse because uh, collected gems will uh, be carried over. If you restart, you still have to finish the level for them to count overall in the main menu. But after collecting this one, since it would take too long to just uh, go through the pipe and uh, back to in into position, we can just restart the level and we still have the gem. Uh, hello? Hello! <laughs> Hi. Fences are impossible. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's also a bit not un uh, it's not intended, of course, to uh, use that, but since we are two toads, it's perfectly fine. And I think that brings us to the first uh, minecart section. So there are some uh, auto scrolls in this game. This one is a rail shooter. And uh, actually, in co op, it's a lot easier. Or, well, it's not difficult in single player as well. But as it turns out, in single player switch, um, you don't have motion controls for your uh, aim here. But in co op, you do. So this is like you can actually accurately aim with this, while in a single player, you would have to use uh, control sticks to like move around, but uh, yeah, like this we can just point or want to shoot and uh, proceed, but obviously since we're on rails, like, can't really do much to speed this up. So uh, the Cope uh, update to this game was actually only released at the start of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Um, For all versions of the game? <laughs> no, this is uh, Switch exclusive. Ah. Yes, uh, they did not implement this into DS or uh, Wii U. Also here we can we'll actually try to get 100 gems. Every 100 gems you get an yeah, extra coins. life. 100 coins. Oh, sorry, yeah, 100 coins you get an extra life, which is always nice to have. Also, if you play co-op, you start out with 10 extra toads you can see in the upper left, while single player you just have two. Uh, here we look at the ceiling to reduce lag. <laughs> yeah, I'll check later. I will not do it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's of course completely useless, but it yeah. looks amazing. So the next level we will skip. Um, so there are certain levels you have to play, there are certain you can skip. Next one we will skip just because it takes longer than other levels we can do. Which brings us, uh, so this one we have to unlock, so we, I think we have to get 12 gems up to that point. You can see we already have 24. And this is the first boss fight. And, uh, Things can go wrong, so hopefully they won't. Why would they? <laughs> they never have gone wrong. It's just a children's game. <laughs> it's easy. 
Yes, but lava still might be bad. Or projectiles. So you will see me take damage here, just so I can get to the gem earlier, and then I will bubble to uh, Toka. Safety. Yeah, while in gem, uh, while in the bubble, you're uh, invincible. Yes. Also, you can't really do anything, so it's, it's nice will, to protect yourself. Yes, I will interact with this uh, these tiles here because there's a ladder at the backside that I want to uh, climb up on to get this gem. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I could die here. It's not too bad. Ah, I actually will make it nice. Then there's a gem here. Back way. So we have all the gems. Now we just need to get to the end. Uh, there will be some uh, lava dropping down here that I want to avoid since I already have got pink. What the oh, heck? Sorry. <laughs> I uh, guess I'll bubble. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so I've already gotten hit once. You, of, course, of course, once you get hit, you become small. You can't get past this because I'm already small. And uh, yeah, second time you get hit, you lose a toad. And there's only, like you will respawn after a while in bubble mode to the other player. And uh, yeah, you can you could see there that once token dragged with that uh, flower uh, flower patch, the camera changed back. So you, yeah, that's something we can't really control. There are certain camera moves in a certain way. You want to avoid that, but you know, whatever. That's that. L I literally collected the star. <laughs> that was not yours. Wow. I object. <laughs> So then there are these uh, very intense levels. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess this uh, progresses the story in some way. And then we come to, I think both of us agree, the best level in the run. Yeah. yeah. Because it's just, like, I don't know why we particularly like, like this one the most, but it's just... It just looks so cool. Yes. <laughs> Chill beach atmosphere. Yes. And we split up and do everything, like, on our own ways. So really showcases the advantages of co-op, especially if you get stuck on that corner. Should we do? Yeah, actually, I'll do it again. Just go up. So there we got the star before the final gem, so it doesn't. You can see we are short of one gem. I'll get it again. We have some backup levels in case we uh, forget about gems that are like further out of our ways, but this one should be not too difficult. I just want to make sure that I don't turn the camera there so Toka falls down again. Okay, wait, yes. wait, okay. Okay. <sighs> That's fine. It's when you're so used to IL grinding that yes. you want to collect the star as early as possible. Exactly. It's not really a any like full game, any percent threat. Go a bit safe. So as you can see, Toad can also walk underwater for reasons. It's just a lot slower, so you kind of want to avoid doing it unless you really have to. And uh, yeah, so this level is kind of the maybe one of the main reasons why we got into this mess. So uh, while we were at a German speedrunning marathon, uh, for some reason I grinded this level IL solo for four hours, and uh, apparently it was quite a sight. So <laughs> I got a bit energetic. Uh, yeah, it drew some interest. So again, since it would take too long for us to uh, get out of the pipe and into position, we will just reset here. And then we will get to a cannon. And, uh, that's cool. Then we go out of the cannon. You actually have to watch out there to not uh, already 
be sp or try to sprint as soon as you exit the cannon, because then you might accidentally go into the cannon again, since action and sprint are on the same buttons. So th you can sprint if you hold down either A or B, and it it does, of course, uh, make you go faster, but it's like not super like noticeable, or you don't want to do it all the time, basically. You also like take further or bigger angles and whatnot. So. This is a level Toku really enjoys, for some reason. I don't. I mean, <laughs> what? Let's sprint to the star, yes. to the gym. Watch him go. <laughs> uh, got it. Nice. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I breathe. So some shortcuts we could take, but uh, they're a bit too risky in case we fail it in the marathon setting. So I could have uh, taken a shortcut a bit earlier on here, but just for uh, not wasting everyone's time in case we miss it. Uh, we're not going for all the strats. Ah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Literally becoming two. So this is kind of a bit of a cursed level. So they just implemented uh, Cope for all levels without any changes. And it's very clear that for this level, like, it's not designed for, like, well, for not really. Oh, no, no. So this one is not really designed for co-op. We tried to make it work somehow, but in the end we just found that uh, having Toka Bubble here and me getting all the gems, would, or almost all the gems, is, like, the best we can do. Because even if he would unbubble, like you can see the tiles are falling down. Basically by the time he can move, he would already be falling down, so it's like not worth it. Yeah, I mean you could also wait for the tiles to respawn, but then the cameras all kinds of messed up, so that's smart. Um, I'll just wait here. <laughs> Why did I pick up a turn? So the incentive of this level is to not kill any of these para beetles. That's why, um, like the first Oh no, I, I mean, I guess the second beetle was yes. killed yes. just to save two seconds RTA. You can see there the objective. Yeah. Para biddy butts. Sorry. You will split up again. So I generally will be the one who's like running ahead towards the goal. And uh, or star, and Toku will be the one collecting gems. I mean, sometimes, of course, doesn't apply. But I was about to say, don't take that door. Yeah, I didn't take it willingly. So. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Or is it? Can you try? Not even perfect. So there is a very long animation here because uh, the second player has to be teleported up. So there's always some tunnels there compared to single player. And yes, that door I was not supposed to take. But if you want to r run along that uh, edge of the house, you, you usually can, uh, or sometimes you get uh, caught in that door. Yeah, there's no extra button you have to press to enter, exactly. or just have run against it, essentially. Do you guys mind if I talk for a bit? Sure. Uh, we have I mean, a we don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. We have a $60 donation yet again from Klaus Jar with no comment this time, but thank you very much. And I also would like to take my time to Shout out our big uh, partners who help running this event at City of Malmo, where all of us are currently situated in, uh, in a hotel here. Uh, they helped us prov uh, provide us with this hotel, and it's been very comfy. And also Twitch, uh, where b without uh, who we wouldn't be able to stream this amazing event. And uh, just a reminder that all bits and donations, uh, bits and uh, subscribers, well, also donations, of course, are going towards the total... Uh, goal for Alzheimer Funden. So keep subbing, donating, cheering, and uh, bring your friends here. So I got hit there at the start, which I didn't want to, because now I can't damage boost through the uh, guys at the end, but maybe took but I can w yeah. What? Where did I get auto bubble? That never seen that before. Uh, sorry. No worries. Can you bubble over and just walk through? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, well, maybe not. Oh my god. <laughs> Take your okay. time. Yeah, sure. Uh, that was smart. <laughs> this is, what am I doing? <laughs> oh my god. 
Is it impossible yes, to win? Yes, this is like, what is this? Okay, around, yes, insane. Yes. yes, let's go! <laughs> Alright, so now we're coming up to the last level of book one, which is uh, first time, or we will fight Wingo, who is the, uh, which is this uh, antagonist here, the main antagonist. He is the main antagonist. <laughs> There is somewhat of a dispute over the gender of uh, Wingo. Yeah. I will not go into that. And this uh, there will be quite a bit of winds that Wingo causes, so we want to uh, split up. Oh, wait. I'm sure we can uh, restart this uh, level early to skip that animation or cutscene. Cutscene, yeah. yeah. So we want to split up here early, so I can teleport back to Toka. But I need to get the gem here, and then we can take a shortcut here due to the winds, and I can't unbubble. Okay. It's kind of weird, on slopes you can't unbubble, you can only do it on flat ground. And then we should be able to reach this ladder here. That makes sense, I guess. And then we get to the actual boss fight. And Wingo will uh, like cause winds again, but it will also spawn um, turnips. And it is possible to one cycle Wingo. So let's see how that goes. Wingo will always target one player and uh, drop a turnip on them. No. <laughs> okay. Wait. Okay. No. Okay. Work. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah. So that worked. It's not over yet. Yes, I know. Is this their fat? <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> Um, with two toads, you can actually pull out that faster there. Um, like, you can cancel the animation. Usually, if you're only one player, you have to go through a certain animation there. So that's faster. And Bye. That's <laughs> and that's book one. So we will get uh, some credits here for reasons which we cannot skip. Even if you restart the console, uh, you will not... Like, the game only saves after the cutscene. So. Yes. When when a book is so good that you have to put credits afterwards, even though it's only a third of the game. Actually, after book two, there will be no credits, so this exactly. this lack of symmetry is <laughs> <laughs> disturbing. Yeah. Thanks to all these people. Yes. For making this fun experience possible. So yeah, how I uh, originally got into this game is that uh, I chose it for this year's 12-hour challenge because I usually run Tomb Raider games. Uh, Was it this year or last year? This year. Okay. I think, at least. Yeah, should be. Whatever. Uh, the latest 12-hour challenge. And I just wanted something a bit different. Toad is a character I always liked uh, ever since I was a child, so it was a natural pick for me. And then, yeah, some people watched, including Toka, and uh, liked it. I mean, eh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> was okay, you know. <laughs> Didn't mean to misquote you. And so in book two, you will see um, things change a bit. Ah, because shout out to my man Matt Few Potter oh, with three T. Yeah, with yes. three T. Currently, <laughs> and now leaving the screen by Matt Few. <laughs> um, so in book two, Toadette will be, uh, or play one will play as Toadette because this time uh, Toad will be the one kidnapped or Toadnapped. Wee! <laughs> Wrong game. <laughs> The end. Time. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bonus run. <laughs> so 
So what's the downtime if we add it up between star and 118 and 2-1 star? I mean, like it uh, kind of depends if you count this as uh, downtime or not. I mean, for me it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, now with that we got the star, we get another uh, cutscene of Toad getting uh, taken away. So it adds up quite a bit, like probably in total it's like five minutes of just doing nothing for More you. More lore. Yes. And I have to do this like <laughs> 10 second intermission. Yeah, how did this game actually happen? What was the story? Like it was in yeah, 3D so World? Yes, uh, and like they came up with this concept, of the, like the game concept, but originally it was uh, designed or meant for uh, Link from the Zelda series to uh, take over this part or have this game. But then they changed over to uh, Toad. Yeah, so there were a few levels in 3D World and then they extended on that concept, yes. made a full game out of it. Hi. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there was a small optimization, like while one player turns the slide thing or whatever, other one can already go. Might happen here as well. Yeah, not if they hit me. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> how did I miss him? <laughs> Rip one coin. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so it already becomes a bit more difficult right at the start for uh, chapter two two, where we will split up. But uh, because of the camera, like only one person, of co we only have one camera angle that uh, can be a bit uh, difficult to see where you are. Yeah, so I will mostly maneuver blindly, but as I've done this before, or so I hope, should be able to do that. So you saw Altsotoka picking up a key there, there are certain doors you have to use keys for, and usually they, oh, sorry, will angle down. Yeah, the good thing is you can see Toad's shadow, or if you like, if you're not on camera. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see the silhouette of uh, whoever's like behind objects. Yeah. But sometimes even that's not enough. And like that's the main gimmick of this game. The camera is usually stationary, except for those like auto scroll levels or the boss fights. And you have to actually turn around the camera to like mm. find your way and uh, collectibles. Minecart, uh, cool. Yes. So in this one, the uh, bonus objective is actually to get 140 or more coins. So we actually want to make sure to not like shoot everything or get every coin possible. But we want to get every gem possible. So how tedious is this level without motion controls? What would you say? It's still as boring as. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's to Yuna Kitten, who uh, unironically likes these stages and can play them multiple times in a row. You missed the coin! Oh no! How will we get alive now? Not at all. One yeah. ups, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Hopefully, the 11 lives will save us. Actually did it. Same for me. <laughs> nice. It's a nice little movement tech. If you're running and then turn around, you do this kind of slide thing. Um, if you want to go fast in levels, um, it usually is advisable. Like if you want to go into a P switch, but then you have to go back. It's advisable to let go of running for a bit, and then um, if you're not running, turn out turn around instantly. Just a small thing. It's mostly for ALs, really. Zelda is actually really cool with co-op. Yeah. 
and be done so optimally. <laughs> so in uh, chapter two we will skip a few more. So in book one we only uh, skipped like one of the levels, and book two it will be a few more. Yeah, and surprisingly, the um, level get levels get progressively longer. Like not by much, but it's it suffices to yeah. skip more levels in book three than in book one. I mean, uh, book three? What? Will there be a third book? I don't know. What? Is this DLC? <laughs> so this is another level where in a solo play or single player, you would usually only collect like two of the gems, so the ones we have so far. But since we can split up and don't need to backtrack, uh, I will actually go further ahead uh, down. The okay. Monitor just went out. Rip projector Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I will go ahead uh, and uh, turn. Okay. Collect the last gem down here. So as you can see, in single player, it would take quite a while to go back from this. But uh, collecting these extra gems allows us to actually do one or play one less level than we would in a uh, single player. So how's the crowd doing? <laughs> uh, yeah, turn it. Hello? Hell Where? What? What? What am I? Okay, well, might have to. Uh, can we salvage it actually? No, let's okay. <laughs> That's what I get. <laughs> but it is unbubble in the thing. Like, didn't even know it's possible. Yeah, of course it's not possible. I'm not gonna do it. Did you get the gem already? Yes. Oh, I did, okay. Damage boost here. Oh, oh! Just wait, just wait. Saving those 0.5 seconds of not getting it. <laughs> yes, for getting the longer animation for the uh, for stomping on the bullet bullet. So you can, from time to time you see those uh, extra pages fly in, so this is just to collect some extra coins and lives, which of course we hopefully won't need. Uh, ghosts like these, you won't stun if you interact with them, but you will uh, make them disappear, but only as long as you actually interact with that very spot they're in. Uh, hello? We'll be a bit later. Okay. The problem with this run is if you want to do co op, you can't do it online. Like you have yes. to meet up in person yes. to do this, which is why not all too many people have done this. Um, I mean, there are a few ILs of co op, which, like, not, not of us, like other people. And as you can see, we are not even the same, or we don't stem from the same country, so we can't meet up as often as well. And here's the next boss fight. Are we from neighboring countries, maybe? <laughs> Not too strong on geography. Interesting camera. Okay. Fine. Hopefully. Good thing it didn't clip through the platform again, which totally can't happen, trust me. So yeah, the rest of this uh, boss fight is exactly the same as the first one, so I think we actually have a donation. Yes, we do. We have a $60 from Tagger saying, as promised during the FM race at Speed Gaming, a solid 60 towards charity. Good luck, these to all the, run all the runners. 
And I would also like to take my time to shout out our partner, Western what? Digital. Even though we aren't uh, currently in PC block, there are currently PC games going on stream too and uh, runners practicing. And the Western Digital Black SSDs are definitely helping with performance on that front. Why was he turned around? <laughs> <laughs> Have we broken the game? Yes. So after the, this boss fight, we get this very uh, cool level where uh, yeah, a lot of stuff is happening. So what could we have done better so far? I think uh, <laughs> everything. <honestly. laughs> Not wrong. But yeah, you don't even get the coins you collect here for extra life, so this is just for nothing. I mean, we can make Dragadon uh, spit flames. And so cool. Yes. And I guess technically we could also stun the bullet bills. And uh, allegedly it saves a few frames to not get hit as often. But but they're happy. So. Serious gaming. Here I go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we can take. You can take the mushroom. Yeah, okay. Put here. Yep. Yep. You can see there's a small delay between entering the pipe and the other person getting teleported. Um, that will be useful later on in the third book. Hello. Third book in the Dragadon boss fight thingy. Amongst a few other places. Yeah. So here you will see at the end of this level, I will do the aforementioned spin attack, just as a safety measure. Because there is one guide up there, you can see. We need to get rid of him to unlock the uh, star. As I said earlier, Toad can't really, or Toadette can't really attack by themselves. Except for that spin attack. But in co-op, you can also have the other player land on top of him. Like that. So, but sometimes you can miss that if you like go too early or stuff. So. Yeah. We still do the spin attack for backup. But what you're meant to do is, of course, go to the top and then jump down on him. Don't need to do that. So both we don't skip. This was a very short level and cope if you get all three gems in a single play this also takes a bit longer. Since we can split up, it's very beneficial for us. Yeah. I mean just for reference, the single player record on Switch is what? Like one eight low one twenty? Tw low one twenty, I think. One twenty, yeah. But I don't want to yeah. And Cope is one fifteen. Yeah. So this is a technically very easy level, but we still want to focus because from time to time things happen. Very nice that this level is split into two halves, so one goes left, one goes right. And okay. So of course movement along the pipes is completely preset. You just have to input which direction you want to go, but depending on the camera actually it's quite finicky the direction you have to press. And of course easy level like these uh, makes you usually tend to uh, pay less attention. So. Like, it's, it's actually pretty time costly if you screw up there. Yeah. yeah. Or here. Very intense. So, this is the exact copy, or, well, not the exact copy, but pretty much the same principle as in the first <laughs> person. Okay. Overtook you. To that rage incoming. To that Oko. Pardon? <laughs> Yeah. 
So this is the only level where we only get two gems. The third one is just way too far away to really be worth it. Yeah, so in general, you want to get as many gems as possible in a level, just to reduce the number of levels you do. Because as you see, before every level and after every level, there's a bit of downtime. And the, I mean, the less levels you do, the more time you save. So it's kind of evident, honestly. Hmm. No, we missed the gem. Oh. <laughs> We'd have to re-enter. But yeah, since we need 155 at the end, we can get three in all levels we do and two in one level of our ch choice, basically. For the least amount of levels to be done. Six. Six. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Nice. You have to wait for the the bullet bill cannons to restore the, the blocks. And in the down like in the meantime you can do something. Useful for the rest of the level. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, whenever we do stuff like that, it's usually because I screwed up a lot in the past and we what? No. Kinda <laughs> got used to reminding each other of stuff. Here, Here you can also, will or will see, the strength of uh, co play. So we can well, hopefully. <laughs> Did you jinx it? Uh, okay. It's a bit precise because, like, you really want to be. At the edge of the platform, otherwise you'll collect the star and level this over. Uh, and go. Well, thing you had to do. So that was an intentional hit. Yeah. Because the bonus objective for this is to not take any damage. Once again, not getting the two-second animation of the check mark being applied. And that brings us to the last level of book two, which is actually not a boss fight, but we'll have like the mini version of the uh, air walking glitch we explained in one five. I mean, at least we'll try it once. Yes. It doesn't say, like it says, what ten seconds? I um, probably not even. I don't know. But it's something considerably like easier since you only have to do it once. And you can line it up. Yeah. But still, can sometimes fail. So in each of these areas we have to clear out all enemies. Only then the bridge comes down. Okay. <laughs> Not risky. <laughs> Dot MP4. I hear these pipes are like wide, like X, reverse. X shape. Yes, kind of, exactly. Yeah. So I actually need to throw them in the opposite lower corner. Ten coins. <laughs> the nice thing is we get a checkpoint here, yes. so if we mess up the airwalk and die, um, we don't lose as much time. Like uh, without a checkpoint, this would not be worth yes, in a marathon. Definitely. Like you would lose, lose like what two minutes? Maybe not worth. Okay. Ah, come on. It's fine. Fine. Okay, I'm gonna Easy. You just do it. Let's go. Now we have to again clear out all enemies here with a cannon, but we can actually split up here to again do it faster than a single player. Yeah. So I would say airwalking, like if you saw it once, it's a really intuitive thing. Like one toad pushes the other over. over. Hello. <laughs> um, it's a bit finicky to get. And if you mess up the timing, yeah. um, both fall to the. Lava, purple, poison, st stuff, yeah. Thing. But yeah, that's book two. Uh, and in book, maybe in book three, it would be really nice if we could uh, play both as Toad and Toadette from time to time. 
if that ever happens. When your backpack is so heavy that you can't flutter <laughs> like Yoshi. What? Yeah, no credits. That's what I said earlier. Yeah, exactly. Apparently they didn't like Book 2 as much, so... No pride in your work. Oh, wow, Episode 3. So the first level in Book 3 is arguably the most difficult <laughs> one. <laughs> Shouldn't be, but we've had a lot of trouble with it. I mean, we first got this prologue again. Yeah. As you can see, there's like an invisible bridge you can uh, make visible with your cursor. But yeah, as I said, book 3 has 28 chapters, we will not play all of them again. Like, this is actually the book we skip most of them, because as Toko already said, they tend to be longer. Uh, yeah. And also, we both play with uh, Joy-Cons. You can actually play with whatever you want, it's just like, I learned it with Joy-Cons, and then I forced Toko to also play with Joy-Cons, basically. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you kind of literally bought a second pair of Joy-Cons, yes. just for this With so your money. Pardon? <laughs> I guess I have to check my bank account afterwards. <laughs> Let's say it was split. The stupid thing that can happen here, like these uh, rotating yeah. things, um, even if you stun them, sometimes you can't walk over because video game. But I was insanely lucky. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Nice. First try. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first PB, I think it was the first PB we ever got, or the second one. Um, kind of <laughs> lost a bit of time this level, maybe a minute or so, I don't know. Okay, you have to get ready for this one. Ah, oh. frame perfect. So yeah, I can stun the uh, boulders here to actually make them release them when it's good for me, because they, they are on a preset cycle pretty much. Okay. I missed the... Yeah. <laughs> That's not. Okay. I'll just respawn. I don't know where I am. Oh, oh it's okay, it's okay. Listen. Nice. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're supposed to, I mean, you're not supposed to, but you can hit the switch and then run onto the platform while it's, um... Uh, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, how do I get the gem now? <laughs> I'll go back down. Yeah, you go. There it is. Hey. Oops. Yeah, book three is... can be pretty tricky. Like when it goes well, it really doesn't look as difficult, but uh, just one slight mistake and uh, things can snowball out of control. Like that. Or like this level, allegedly. What an absolute banger of a soundtrack. Yes. Beep, beep, beep. Please don't. It was a slight safety measure yes. for me to bubble up and unbubble and wait there in case um, can you miss the cycle. It's a bit tricky to fall on at the exact right moment. Yeah, the, the last one I had to drop down, like the, as you saw the blocks alternatively uh, switch off and on. Yeah. And for the last one you actually have to leave the upper one while it's switching off. So. 
Also, speaking of banger of music. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I'll get the gem. Uh, I will. I could get. I will get. Okay. There's a slight, slight technical detail. Um, you can only bubble or go into the bubble if you don't have the pickaxe. So that's why I had to wait in the water a bit. It doesn't lose any time. It's just um, something to be aware of if you play this game. You can co-op. Uh, okay. Good thing I didn't destroy the star with my pickaxe. <laughs> Would have been a soft lock. I mean, okay, if there's only one level available, we probably have to do it. Can we skip this? <laughs> so these enemies here, I can't stun. So I have to wait them out. Like, I will damage boost to these guys. But obviously I can't damage boost twice. Not with that attitude. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh. Uh, okay, just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Works. Kinda work? No? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I tried to like take a shortcut there, but op obviously it didn't work. Take the corner, don't destroy the snow patch. Uh. Okay, I'll follow. Okay. I guess I'll just wait. It's a small glitch. I mean, is it a glitch that you can walk over corners and the thing doesn't. Like the snow patch doesn't disappear? I guess it is. I don't know. Yeah. Like, the, yeah, certain of these tiles they always break if you step on them, but if you just cut the corner, they will not break. Yeah, it really is supposed to go way around. This is also a very nice level for Corp because some of the gems, as you show, you have to fall down and due to the bubble mechanic in Corp it's a lot faster to, to get them. You can just go back up. This is a level I usually have a lot of trouble with. Oh, why would you? It's easy. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. The safety measure nice. here, I will go here and wait in case Caddy falls down, which of course he won't because he's very good Can at this you? game. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure about that last thing. Yeah. I appreciate the backup. <laughs> you know, that's something to consider for like a full game run. At some points you really want to go safe. That's uh, what you do. Oh. Let's not glitch the P-switches. <laughs> wait, 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 okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that was pretty good. Yeah. So this is also where Cope can save you a lot of time, because in single player you actually have to maneuver quite, like, in pretty interesting pattern to make it to the end, since every other uh, piece which of course slows or raises the blocks. Yeah. So if this objective this only use the switch eight times, you can't really avoid that um, In a without time losing time. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. And I heard these are fun. I'm scared. I'll wait in the corner. <laughs> Just bubble. Okay. 
So in this uh, level, the bonus objective is to collect a, a one-up mushroom, which will be at the very end. And we, of course, want to avoid that, but we can still collect some uh, extra lives. And yeah, speaking of that, uh, so whenever one of the toad dies, you immediately lose a life. You don't just lose lives, both of them die. Which means you can actually drain them quite quickly, especially if you go for like air walks and uh, fail, because you immediately lose two lives. No, my coins! <laughs> be able to get one one up out of there. Here we'll damage boost through. So these we can stun, but their hitbox are quite large and I just don't care. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> I do care. Yeah, just squeeze through. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. When you lose time on an auto scroller. <laughs> Yeah, some, like you can squeeze through, but not if they're like exactly at the corner. Can you even get 200 coins here? I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I mean, we won't. <laughs> Steady, one up is over there. We're gonna deliberately look away from that because the last gem is over here. Okay. There's actually a bunch of tech use for our elts, which is not really useful, or you shouldn't really go for in the full game run, some like, I don't know, 180s or whatever, like, and I, I actually never played this game, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> well, before this, before I learned the speedrun, of course. Yeah, like, ILs are really optimized, so you, like, some are, like, really using very precise tricks, which we could use, but, I mean, probably not, because we're not capable of doing them. But yeah. They would be valid if you were really good, which we're not. Yeah. Actually, for the else, this like this game has an in-game timer, but it only goes by full seconds. Yes. So this is essentially golden eye. <laughs> Except without looking at the floor. Exactly. And uh, you only unlock the in-game timer after you completed all the uh, or collect all the gems and the bonus objective in the uh, book. So we don't have it now. Small shortcut can just walk over that. We will split up again. We'll collect the two remaining gems. And bubble over here. Yeah. The thing I mentioned about unbubbling on slopes, that was one example. So I had to wait until Katie was on the flat kind of tile, whatever. And then on the slope, you can fall down to make that shortcut through the gem. And this is the last Dragodon fight. What could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> You're purple. Actually, yesterday around midnight, we had the last practice session, and I uh, kind of fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for a gem to be collected, and yeah. didn't hear the sound at all. I turned around, and Toka was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> Toka, please. See, serious uh, <laughs> speedrun time. So this will be the mechanic I talked about earlier. I will go into the door almost right away. But there's, it takes like five seconds for the second toad to teleport. That's why. 
at again, collect the gem already. It doesn't have to go back to the door, that's the main point. Oh, also, you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. yeah. Second player always lands on top there. <coughs> Makes sense, I guess. For some reason. I'll leave these coins to you. Thank you. Mmm. Coins. <laughs> I'm the Swiss guy. Pardon? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that was the last dragon fight. This, this that was probably the easiest. Yeah, exactly. I was about to say. <laughs> like there, there, there are no small paths you have yeah. to really maneuver precisely around. I mean, the only thing that can really go wrong is if you miss one of those uh, block, like switch one of the blocks, and you just drop down to lava. Why is his wound not golden as well? Like, apparently, he's golden ranked thing now. This is like SM64, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the final start. <laughs> the one little difference is between the books, I'm not sure if we talked about that already, is that the first and second book has have 18 levels, this one has 28. Yes. I think, yeah. This one is a bit longer. Also, this one has a great soundtrack. Absolute banger. <laughs> And I cannot get in there. And I missed the gem. Nice. So I guess I have to go up again. And I got hit. It's okay. I'm not sure if you actually will get bubbled up. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. Cool. Right. Oh, well, so much. Fun. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> My Stole plot all along. Stole my start. <laughs> <laughs> Usually because I go in the underground pipe first, I will get shut out first. And thus I would collect the star first. Rob. Yes. So here we want to manipulate an enemy to break open uh, blocks for us. And sometimes it works rather well and usually it doesn't. I mean, that should be fine. <laughs> yeah. He's a bit faster now that now he destroyed his helmet. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. He's it's actually pretty hard to control which of the two toads he's um, he's yet kind of targeting. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, beautiful yeah, RNG, nice. actually. And so when I unbubble to get the second gem, it's like we haven't really figured out why he usually targets me. It's not always like 90 yeah, 10. It's kind of proximity based, but not like whatever. <laughs> so this next one's a really long level. But luckily, we can like cut it a bit shorter with co op. And uh, Toka wants to focus here. Well done. Where's my phone actually? <laughs> You're doing great. I know. I still have plenty of time. Hmm. That's not my problem. <laughs> well, I find I like to. Okay, I have to play the game now. <laughs> Want to browse some funny Twitter memes, like the ticket machine that broke in front of the hotel. <laughs> Which is tickets were printed out continuously. <laughs> Didn't even know about that. <laughs> Just speedrunner things. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So here with the bubbling mechanic, we can actually get this quite a bit shorter. Getting that blue pipe is actually way harder than it looks yes. just because of the camera. That's why I'm deliberately waiting for Caddy to bubble up, just yes. so in case I don't make it. Um. Okay, gonna bubble up. Wow. Okay. okay. And now we just need to get rid of these guys. For me, the level scripts will really increase. We'll do. I think we'll yes. only do like 50% or so. so. 
remaining levels. Yeah, that's also why I'm looking over to the right every now and then, uh, looking at my notes, which levels to skip, because I can't remember anything. So yeah, this is also the same as uh, in book 2. What was book 1? I don't even remember. But, yeah. How's my jacket oriented? <laughs> Impossible. How's the water? Tastes like water. Oh. Oh, 320, yeah. Hmm? 320 is next. Oh, right. mm. Fun level. The actual best level. Uh, debatable? In, well, in co it's pretty cool. In single player? <laughs> oh, what do you think? <laughs> Let's say I skip this in single player and do a longer but easier level instead. <laughs> Okay, so one of the gems is underneath, hence why I have to uh, yeah, kind of squeeze in here and fall down. Then I want to stop this. Uh, select that. Thank you. Enough? Should be enough, right? Uh, I can do it a bit further. Okay. Where is my cursor? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll, yeah, Easy. Okay. okay, what you can do is, you saw this smaller platform with a gem on in the middle? You can use that to kind of squeeze around into the third, like closer to the star. Although there's a small fence, which should, um, like usually lets you not progress that way, you can kind of walk squeeze around it. it yeah. But yeah, it's a bit tricky. So we um, do like work around yeah. to make sure that we get there. And uh, yeah, so this is another office corner, basically. And uh, we could not find a way to make player two viable here either. So hope the Twitter memes are good. Don't die. <laughs> Why would I ever die in this thing? I'm not sure. Imagine there being proof of me dying in this thing. I should not touch the controller to not accidentally hit the camera. Which totally has never happened before <laughs> in practice. So yeah, since there are blocks to unfung down here, it always resets the uh, timer on the ghosts when you like load them up due to the light. Which is a bit annoying, but what can yeah. you do? Mm, oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> Did not expect that. Usually, also the seesaw here uh, blocks the, the light beam. Yeah, and here again the block. Reset the timer. I would like to take my time to thank uh, our long time, sp uh, long time partners, uh, ViewSonic Elite, who provide the monitors for the runners who are playing right now, for example, and for all the rest, all PCs there, and uh, not only PCs have ViewSonic Elite monitors with only one millisecond latency, which provides a uh, nice and oh, oops, I'm going <laughs> on. I'm sorry. Which probably to ViewSonic monitors yes, being so awesome. Thank you so much. So this is not one of these uh, block levels, but for this one uh, we will reset and do a pretty interesting strat actually. Uh, sorry. No. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So since you can move the level underneath uh, whoever is bubbling, you can actually unbubble while moving the level and take a shortcut there. 
Yeah, but, but you can't unbubble at any time. Like yes. if, uh, if the level only is moving, moving, you can't do it. That's so why you have to. Yeah. yeah. So that's why I press like move as soon as he unbubbles, or like shortly after it, essentially. Here there are also some a bit scary strats. So. <laughs> or that can happen, I guess. Can you still make that? Yes. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> make it. Uh, can I make that? Yes. Okay. I guess I'm out of bounds. <laughs> and that is smart. I'm literally out of bounds. Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, is that even. How is that. That doesn't make any sense. Like, geometrically, that's uh, wrong. Can mathematically prove that that's wrong. Oh, I'm. Oh, okay. Oh, surprise, it works. Okay, don't stop too early this time. I will probably stop too late. But yes. No. Yes. Thanks, Matthew Porter. <laughs> so you can stop the wheel from turning. By interacting I got it. Whoa. I never get that star. <laughs> the one time I don't look. Yeah. Damn. It's actually a nice little thing you can do. You can hold the... Um, like the cursor interaction, which stuns the wheel, um, before the level even starts, you can kind of buffer it into the level, and then just run down. You can actually do that blind. You just have to hold three buttons essentially, and then you win. Hardest IL ever. So this is the last level where we will collect gems, and it's a bit of a longer level. That's a prime example of maneuvering semi blindly um, and getting hit and hopefully not dying actually. Cool. Can you unbubble? Un un I mean, you can, yeah. Did you move there? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. So now we have 155 gems. And uh, we will skip the rest of the levels until the one we have to do, which is one more auto scroller and then the final boss fight. So since it's an auto scroller, there's not too much that can happen unless I screw things up again. Yeah. So yeah, if you have a donation, please go ahead. Yeah, sure. We're actually, according to Tracker, getting close to 10,000 donations in, in as, a, as a total. And we also got a $100 donation from Pingoin23 with no comment. but. The donation goes towards Super Mario 64 bonus uh, 16 star run. Uh, if you want to snipe the 10,000th donation, you better you better go on right now. Yeah, so the final boss takes a bit, so that it's probably not world record. Which I mean, would kind of be worrying if this was a world record. <laughs> Like 10 million mistakes, like this. And yeah, this again is a safety measure, just in case uh, Katie falls down somewhere, to not have to having to restart the level. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that only leaves the final boss stage. And the final boss stage is actually... Oh, um, yeah! <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. And um, the final boss stage is actually, once again, we will fight Wingo, and there will be more wins. And there's a way to get an early cycle there. Um, it's a bit tricky, you have to like kind of time when you start walking with like Wingo's animation. It saves a bit of time, but obviously I will not reset for it. And again, we can uh, restart at the start during the cutscene. Skip it. How's to that so cute? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Ah. Now move too early, so now, like, what you want to do is uh, want to move just as he flaps the wings for a third time down. Yeah, now I would already be able to go further ahead. 
Yeah, so we skip the left right wind cycle. Yeah. Thanks for not falling down. No worries. I mean, worries. <laughs> yeah, now we kind of have to fight against the wind, which, yeah, is bad. But I mean, Although, yeah, it, it, it will enable a very cool, very cool fine. skip. Um, yeah. At the end, like right before the boss. Also a bit finicky, but probably not as hard as no. the first one. Do you want to already talk about what's different in this boss fight? Um, I mean, I can. After I collect this mushroom. Um, so the, the base idea is the same as in the first boss fight, where you pick up the three turnips and uh, throw it at bird, man, woman, girl, they. And uh, the, the difference is that there will be lightning, which you, I mean, if you touch, you get kind of hit. Maybe not preferable. And it also destroys any turnips it hits. Also that, so yeah. yeah. It so is. Yeah, so if a, if a lightning hits turnip, it will get destroyed. If a turnip hits lightning on the ground, like the after electro thingy, uh, it won't get destroyed. There you saw the skip. I was yeah. able, thanks to the wind, just bypass that corner. You can do it without the wind, but it is a lot more precise. Here we go again. Grove Street. Okay. So these are the lightning bolts. We'll go left up. Should work, should work, let's nice. go. So yeah, now it's just the same as first time, we just have to plug out Toadette yeah. and collect the Found Star and that's when time will be. Yeah. At one cycle was actually considerably more difficult than the first one, so getting it in the run is actually pretty cool. Wait, who will collect the final star? Oh no. Might be you. <laughs> so get ready on time. And time. Hold up. Yeah, so this had a few hiccups. Uh, but at least we got both of the uh, one cycles. Got the airwalk first try. Yeah, it was a solid run for sure. Yeah. So yeah, um, that was uh, Captain Toad. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again, Toka, for actually volunteering uh, to do this with me. Welcome. Hope you had some fun. And no uh, shoutouts to the Captain Toad Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want to uh, get into Captain Toad speedrunning, there is a Discord. You can find uh, as always on speedrun.com. Uh, or you can ask any one of us. But yeah, I guess that's it from us. Unless you want to say something. Where's, oh. where's Matthew <laughs> Porter once again? <laughs> but yeah, he will probably be further down the list. Come on. But uh, Come on. I'm not sure if we have the time for that. So we'll Come let on. Tech decide. Uh, yeah, for now that's it from us, I guess. Uh, enjoy the rest of the marathon. Still Matt, where are you? Still going on for half a day. I'm not sure how long I can stretch this can out. You, can you actually write Matt with 3T? I'm, I'm not sure if that's well, an actual apparently you thing. can, but... Uh, I There's no way that's a typo, no. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, come on. Should, yeah, there yes. it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Matt that's it. <laughs> I guess we got that as well. Um, so at the end we would get unlock the bonus levels. In the Switch uh, version you get some uh, Mario Odyssey themed bonus levels. But yeah, that's not for this. We're done. Thank you very much for watching. And yeah, take care.